to be able to read it with it. All right. <clears throat> Disorders of the skin. I've got some really cool pictures here. This is athlete's foot. Uh, you can tell it by itchy red peeling skin. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's caused by fungal infection and it's agitated by sweaty feet. Warm, moist area causes bacteria to spread. Another good picture of it. That's, that's really gone a long, a long time. Impentigo. Impentigo is also by bacterial infection. Highly contagious. It's most often in children. <coughs> Very easily spread. One of my sons used to get this all the time. Yes. His would always end up being right around his mouth. Impentigo. That is where it has spread. This is an armpit there. All right, here's psoriasis. It is um, overactive cell division. You have the real silvery scale. It's just the division there that happens in the stratum basal just divides and divides and divides, so it ends up causing this excess skin. There it is on the toes. Eczema caused by red, dry, patchy areas, chemicals. My new grandbaby has eczema real bad. Um, we have tried almost everything, and her little skin can just get as blood red as possible. So she has to use, my daughter-in-law has to use real special detergents. She can't use bounce or anything like that. Dandruff. Flaking and itching scalp, it is not caused by an overdry scalp, as most people think. It is caused by the accelerated and being built up, you end up getting real flaky, dry skin. Uh, well, the party's over, nothing's left to do but sweep this mess over the shoulder. The truth about dandruff. Uh, Uticaria, it's high. Uh, I don't know if anybody in here has ever had hives, but they can be very, very bothersome, very itchy. It's another allergic reaction the skin has. And hives can come up. Um, yeah, shingles uh, looks very similar to nerves. This is, I'm sorry, I apologize. This is the one where the nerves are, are more, much more sensitive. Um, this is actually caused by the virus. So it looks a lot like hives. My daughter-in-law will end up getting this. She may just end up with like one or two of these. But her entire, and she'll get them right along her waistband, her entire area about that size, she doesn't want anything to touch, even if she only has like three or four of these. Because it causes the end of the nerves to be so incredibly, incredibly sensitive. So, but it's actually caused by the chicken pox virus. Warts, warts are also due to viral infections. Not toads. Not toads. Uh, moles, moles are not usually cancerous, but they're caused by an overgrowth of melanocytes. Skin cancer um, is just unrestrained cell division. Remember when we looked at mitosis back back in chapter two, I think it was, and I said, you know, you have, the, you have the GO checkpoint, the GO checkpoint. If the cell is not told then, if it's not given the correct protein enzyme that says stop cell growth, it will continue to keep on dividing, and that's what causes cancer. You've got non-melanoma cancers. Uh, these are much less likely to metastasize. Uh, metastasize means that it will spread, it breaks off from the initial tumor and goes elsewhere. Basal cell carcinomas, this is the most common type, um, and this is caused by UV radiation, which is the sun. All right. Um, after last semester, whenever we did this, I went in and had a spot checked on my cheek because it just was kind of dry and flaky. It didn't look like a whole lot. It looked kind of like that right there. I mean, it just was a little bit flaky, but no big deal, no big brown spots or anything else, but it ended up being basal cell carcinoma, uh, and then they just removed it. 
That is one that has gone on way too far. It's still a basal cell carcinoma. Listen to the name, basal cell. Guess where it comes from? Stratum basal, it's out of the basal layer of the epidermis. All right, this is one that has gone on way too long. Here again, yes, this is a cancer. Melanoma cancer. Melanoma cancer is the one that is most likely to be malignant or metastasized. Malignant means it, uh, to kill. It normally appears as an unusual mo, spilled ink or different shades of color. It's most common in fair-skinned people, but it can still occur in dark, especially if you've had one sunburn. If you ever had one sunburn, you can very easily end up with melanoma cancer. You've got a risk if you have a lot more moles. Uh, the mole can be itchy, it can hurt, it can feel numb. The skin can turn gray around it, white or red. But also, a mole can just grow. Okay? It can just literally grow. My husband had a melanoma cell removed about 10 years ago, and it was right on the side of his face. It's a little mole, less than half the size of your, your little fingernail, and it had spread out beyond that. He had to go back in and have an area removed this much off the side of his face. All right, and he's very fortunate. I lost my brother one year ago Christmas to melanoma cancer. All right, so melanoma is, is very much um, malignant. It is also, it also can be cured, but you've got to be... The ABC, ABCD of melanoma cancer, asymmetry, border irregularity, color, and if it's larger than a quarter inch diameter, you go get them checked if you have any one of these signs here. Now, over all these diseases uh, that we have talked about, we talked about whether they were viral, whether they were bacteria, where they're located, you're going to be quizzed over those. So you need to go over your notes, go over these list of diseases, all of them that we've talked about, and be able to tell me, you need to be able to tell me the ABCD of the melanoma cancer and over any of these. Urticaria, caused by allergic reaction, it has, what does it look like? Elevated reddish patches. Shingles, shingles are caused by the chicken pox. They show up like little blisters, very, very painful. So these are the kind of things that I'm going to ask you on the quiz tomorrow. It's an allergic reaction. Yes, it does. It does look a whole lot like that.